Today we're talking about Hollywood's casting couch problem after Anna Pollitt's article about it on V Point this week. So it turns out even today in 2015, um, there are still a lot of actors with really worrying horror stories. It came after Equity, the Actors Union in Britain, um, suggested that the cast and couch uh, culture was on the rise. And the thing that shocked me the most was that uh, established actors um, had come out and said it. These actors who've spoken out recently include Tandy Newton, Mylene Class, Megan Fox, Gwyneth Paltrow. It's not only happening to women, it's also happening to men. Ryan Philippe also came out and said that there were some sketchy things happening to him when he was trying to break into the industry. I am surprised to see it written down, but probably not that surprising. Hollywood's got a pretty horrible reputation. Tandy Newton was like horrible. Trying to place a camera and get her to open her legs more. And then use the footage like for his own personal use. It's the stuff sordid, horrible porn videos are made of. The ones that decent people don't watch. That that same person went out and showed it to friends at parties. So not only was he committing this skeezy act, but he went later and was brazen and open about it and said, oh, hey, look at this. It's the sort of behavior that you don't really think people would be able to get away with nowadays, but it seems that they can. They're just so comfortable with where they are and their position of power that they feel like they can just show it to whoever they please. It's not just in Hollywood, it's all over the gaff, it's just all over the place. Questions about like sexuality, questions about um, their sex life, also asking them to strip down into their underwear or naked. A friend of a friend told me that uh, a British actor um, who is straight performed um, some sort of a sex act on a gay casting director and actually got the part. You see casting calls plastered around all the time which are just so painful to read. Needed, we need like a woman who is beach body ready. I know of one producer uh, who apparently had lots of Polaroids of girls that he'd made do things. People say about like Silicon Valley and just sexual harassment in the workplace and stuff, but I think obviously when it's in Hollywood it's just like that times a million. The problem with this and the reason that this cycle continues is that someone's always going to be desperate enough to say yes. If you could find out that no one would ever find out if you just said to sleep with one person to find out that you're going to be a massive celebrity, really successful, have loads of money, would you do it? I probably would. Unless like the actors and models and all these people who are in these industries where this, where this happens turn around and say we're not accepting this anymore, it will unfortunately continue to happen. Obviously that sounds really bleak but honestly I think it's been going on like since forever so I can't really see like it changing. It's sad for them because they've had to do that. It's also sad for all of the talented actors that probably haven't been cast because they've refused to do this. Where I said it's not surprising, it doesn't mean that we should just kind of let it happen. Okay, yeah, they're rich and they're famous and these people are doing exceptionally well, but that doesn't remove the fact that they have been sexually harassed. It is great that the A-listers are speaking out and setting an example. Other actors should be aware that even if they are placed in that situation, then they can say no and they can still go on and do great things with their career. Maybe people are becoming more aware of like what goes on behind the, the glamorous scenes. People are speaking out and I, I don't think it's something that's going to happen in the future because it's just not widely accepted anymore. Thank you for stopping by. You get to decide what we talk about next week. So be sure to visit our website. Choose your favourite articles. And the article with the most viewpoints will be exactly what we're talking about here on Friday. Subscribe and we'll see you next week. Sorry, I was so depressing, guys.